Now, if we stay with banking, Swiss banking giant UBS is due to face a U.S. court today in an ongoing battle over banking secrecy. The U.S. Justice Department wants to force the bank to hand over details of more than 50,000 wealthy Americans. It suspects of using Swiss bank accounts to dodge taxes. Well, on Sunday, both sides asked the judge to delay the trial, raising the prospect of an out-of-court settlement. The case is widely seen as the biggest challenge yet to Switzerland's bank secrecy. Well, Stephen Harris is publisher of Wealth Briefing, which covers the private wealth management industry. Thanks very much for coming in. Good morning. Now, this is something that's been going on for a very long time. What Indeed. do you think is going to happen now, given uh, the delay that came through yesterday? Well, I think they must reach a settlement, and a settlement will be based upon the fact that um, in Switzerland, it's absolutely against the law uh, to divulge bank account details at all, unless uh, the account holder um, is suspected of tax fraud. Now, if UBS can uh, get some names together uh, that are tax fraud cases rather than tax evasion, uh, then I think they can give those to the US authorities without bre breaching uh, Swiss law at all. Um, the other thing, of course, is that if they don't do that, they may have to pay a substantial fine. Um, and people are talking in terms of the fine being upwards of five and a half billion dollars uh, and that's the amount that uh, UBS apparently can afford to pay without going to external shareholders again. Just explain the difference between tax fraud and tax evasion. I'm sure it's quite a legal minefield. It's very much something that's in the minds of the Swiss lawyers and it's a very arcane issue. Um, tax fraud in my view is when uh, the taxpayer actually uh, creates documents uh, that show false trails, whereas tax evasion is where income is just not reported. So it's a, it's a positive thing that, that's done rather than just not reporting income. And the difference for UBS is if it was able to come up with cases of tax fraud, the Swiss government would not be able to say to UBS, you're actually breaking the law? Absolutely. It's, it is absolutely a criminal offence. You can go to prison if you divulge details of bank accounts uh, that, uh, that are not fraudulent. So yes, uh, the, the Swiss government is saying to UBS, you must not do this. Uh, this is against the law. It's going to really wreck the banking system in Switzerland, which is a huge part of the economy. They absolutely don't want to do that. Uh, right. So this is, this is something that is a compromise. Um, it could be a fine and it could be um, uh, getting the fraudulent accounts through. Okay. Well, Stephen, thanks very much indeed for explaining that. And uh, I'm no doubt that I will talk about this story again on this programme. But let's now swiftly move on.